Thanks for tuning into the channel. So today I'm out and about and I decided I'm gonna go check out a Ford Bronco that I saw on Auto Trader that looks pretty sick, sickest one in town. So I went to look at it to see if it'd be a right one for Toro. Since it's lifted, got some wheels and everything, custom bumpers, I think it'll catch a lot of people's eyes. It'll help get rented out more because if you can find a good deal on a customized car like that, definitely gonna get grab more attention and you're gonna get more bookings but it all depends on the price. So I'm gonna let you know the year, the miles, the price. See the comments down below if you think it's a good deal or if I should walk away from it. Also, while I'm driving to the dealership, I'm gonna show you some other dealerships so you can see how inventory is growing and going back to normal, just in case you haven't noticed. So I'm gonna be bringing a lot of things to the channel today. Stay tuned, now follow me. All right, so we're on our way to check out the Bronco. I'm looking forward to see the comments, seeing if you think it's nice or not it is the nicest one that i can find uh for sale close to me so some of you might see a oh i, I see nicer ones i'm sure you have i'm not saying it's like the nicest one in the world but it's the nicest one i've seen right now close to me for sale but on my way there i am going to pass a few car dealerships and here we get to i get to show everyone how inventory is looking like so the first dealership we're going to pass by that we're coming up is mazda i'm actually going to turn in here that way you have a close-up but look at that before around covid time this this lot would be empty they wouldn't have so many cars now you can basically any color you can choose look at all those miatas all the cx30s you just have a ton and ton of cars and car dealerships are starting to do incentives because of this so right here you see mazda and there's just a ton of them look there's somebody there trying to get a car deal And next to it is Honda. And Honda's really, their inventory's really grown. I usually pass by here often uh, on way to work and stuff. And this lot was really empty and now it's just full. I remember when it was hard to even get a Honda Civic and now they have a ton of them. And got a ton of CRVs. There's the, they got the prices up front on them and they got discounts on them. The pre-owned section is gonna be over here. Even the pre-owned section, you can see they got a, a good selection. Now, before we get to the Bronco, we're gonna end up passing by another dealership on the way there. It's gonna be the Toyota dealership and I'll bring that onto the channel. You'll see their inventory and we'll probably get some cool Tundras and the new redesigned Toyota Tacoma. I like the Tacoma, it's pretty nice. So we'll definitely try to get that in, in the video. All right, we're at the light. We're right where Toyota's at. And actually right next to it's the Lexus dealership and the Broncos there, it's in the pre-owned section at the Lexus dealership. We're gonna pass by the Toyota and as you can see, look right over there, you can see Toyota. You can see some of the cars that you're probably looking at right now is the pre-owned section, but we're gonna come in through the, the new side. We're just waiting for this light to turn green. And as we turn in to go into Toyota, we'll get a glimpse of Lexus. So you might be able to spot the Bronco that we're gonna look up closer at. Let's see. It's still not our turn, so they're turning. It looks like there's a few people over there looking at cars. Again, if you're thinking about a car, you need a car right now, You, they are definitely doing incentives and things like that. So you can, you know, if you need one now, definitely go to dealerships and start looking. If you can wait it out to next year, deals probably will get even better, but they definitely have started. Oh, there's one right there, Alexis. I just turned. They're doing a test drive on. I don't know if you got it. It was an ES. It took off. It was the pearl white one. All right, the light turned green. Here we go. So look all look how packed the dealership is. Look how many SUVs and cars. Some people were there looking at cars. Here's Lexus. And you might, there's the Bronco. 
little spot of the Bronco we're gonna go check out. There it is. But before we get the Bronco, let's check out the inventory, show everyone how how slam they are with cars. There's not even a space. And the crazy thing is when the Tundra first came out, you couldn't even find them on lots. Now they got a ton of Tundras and the new Tacoma. Look how many Tacomas are over here. Those that's the redesign. They just got a ton of Tacomas. Definitely won't have oh there's an orange one. But yeah, definitely won't have an issue getting a Tacoma. If you're wondering where the orange one was, this parked over here. It looks like someone test drove it, so it was off to the side. And then here comes the Sequoia. More Tacomas coming up. Oh wow, they got a ton of white ones. Look over here. Those are all Toyota Tundras. You got two lanes of is it two lanes? No, one lane of Tundras, but they're planning to sell a ton of Tacomas. What do you think of that color? I don't know what it's called, but it's like a bluish purple. I like that. So they're asking 47000 for an SR5 Tacoma. What do you think? Do you think that's overpriced? The white ones are 44, 43, depending on the model. Oh, this one's a TRD, uh, TRD Pro. Oh no, TRD Off-Road. They want 49. What do you think of these uh, mid-size trucks costing about 50 grand? I mean, they basically go for the same price as a full size. All right, let's just get a full size. I do like the Tacomas a lot, but I think they're priced too high for what you're getting. Now what we came for. Let's go check out the Bronco. We left Toyota, going to Lexus. And let's see how it goes over here. Can you zoom in? Zoom in a little bit so I can see it better. And we'll get it close up. All right, we just parked at the dealership. But well, before we get out and check out the Bronco, what do you think of this Bentley here in the customer parking? What year do you think that is? Let us know down in the comments below. Let us know if you like it. Check out the Bronco right here. Here it is. It's a 2022, as you can see on the windshield. One owner. It's going for 43,000. Do you think that's a good deal? Yes or no? Let us know in the comments. It also has red leather. Let's go ahead and do the walk around. They're 22s. It's right there. You can see the 22s. I was wondering if they did any cutting. Oh, the rear is blacked out the tail lights. It has the spare. Yeah, red leather seats with the diamond stitching. Hey, how are you? All right, here's the inside of the Bronco. My favorite part is the red interior, diamond stitching by Catskin, has the WeatherTech mats. It is the soft top. It looks in really good condition. As you can see, the back seats also in good condition. How you put the windows down is here in the middle. It's already tinted and everything. And check out the back. That back cargo space. You have the weather tech map there. Here's the front the LED lights. 22s on the Bronco. Tires still have a good amount of life left. It's matching spare. Really love the color. I like how they have the grill painted. So the nicest Bronco I can see close to me. It is a 22, one owner. asking 43.5 what do you think is that a good deal 
you think this will rent well on Toro, let me know in the comments below. All right, so did we get the Bronco? Yes or no? We didn't. The deal wasn't right, so we passed on it. We'll keep an eye to see if it has any price drops. It is the beginning of the month, and it was a recent vehicle that they just got in inventory. But if you're thinking about getting a car, I still think it's a good time. Definitely showed you some inventory of the different car dealerships, how, how big they are right now, and there's a lot of incentives going on. So don't let me not getting the car today deter you from maybe getting a good deal yourself. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.